Shalom. First and foremost, call Allah Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, that's all praises to the Most High, in the name of His only begotten Son. Double honors to the elder apostles, a great millstone that told me this truth. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, Tabernacle of David. And, um, you know, I'm just going to, uh, you know, do an impromptu, you know, basically dealing with, uh, you know, thanks taking, you know, today being, uh, you know, the celebration of genocide, you know, that's basically what this is, you know, and though uh, this information has been out for so long, that's not going to stop these wicked ass, gluttonous, immoral, evil American people from partaking in such festivities, but you still got to remind these people, especially our, our people, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, or which are the Israelites, uh, you're partaking in the sacrifice of the wicked. All right, this is a this is a uh, a celebratory of the triumphing of the wicked over the, the Gadites, the tribe of Gad, which are uh, which are the Native Americans. You're celebrating the death of your own people, man. And uh, you know when were you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans wake the hell up? But you see, that's why the Lord got a two thirds that He's going to cut off and 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 uh put to death here in, in Babylon the Great, All right? Because this this entire society was established off of rape, rob, and murder by your oppressor. Okay. This same man who gave you his plantation Christianity. All right, he uh, exalts himself over you with his white supremacy. All right, he institutionalizes you in his school systems. He controls, you know, uh, your way of being, you know, your thought process. This same man got you celebrating the deaths of your own uh, 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 siblings and ancestors, man. All right. So as long as you're uh, partaking in this festivity, you being partakers with the the evil works of the so-called white man, the devil, that, that the Bible speaks of, man. All right, if you don't know by now, the so-called white man, known as Esau in the Bible, is the damn devil, and his track record proves it. Hey, today proves it. The fact that he has you uh, 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 cooking turkeys, all right, uh, uh, you know, sitting back watching football games and, and basketball games you know what i'm saying in a uh, in a very celebratory spirit as if this is something proud to celebrate the most high is going to destroy you if you negroes latinos and native americans don't wake the hell up man all right this is one big sacrifice of the wicked the most high is not dealing with this feast day you're celebrating death Proverbs 15 and 8, the sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight, all right? And this is the sacrifice of the wicked, man, so-called thanks-taking, all right? If some, uh, somebody come to you and uh, 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 tell you, you know, happy Thanksgiving, I mean, really, you should reply to them, wait, so you mean the Native Americans were, were, were happy and thankful to be slaughtered so that they can, because uh, they didn't give up their land. They actually got their land confiscated, stole, robbed. Okay? A lot of bloodshed had to happen by those, those, uh, those twisted, dirty, vile, vermin, Edomite, English settlers that came over here, man. Okay? You're celebrating a thief. All right? You're celebrating a, a thief taking the land from a people who once had their own civilization, man. All right? This is a thief, man. Esau is a damn thief. Everything that this man got to this very day is because he stole it. He had to kill to get it in his possessions, man. 
All right, rape, rob, murder, pillage. This is John 10 and 10, it says, the thief cometh not before to steal and to kill and to destroy. Is that not what he did? Is that not what Esau did, the so-called white man? When he came over here and colonized this side of the world? And here it is, you, you people are stuffing your face with turkey and mashed potatoes or, 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 or stuffing. You don't even understand the whole concept of the turkey and the stuffing, man. And the cranberry sauce. What, what is the significance of all that, man? You know? Why is that meal put together on this particular date? It's a ritual. It's a sacrifice, man. To commemorate the genocide and the sacrifice of all the Native Americans, which are the so-called, which are the, uh, the tribe of Gad, man. And they were killed by the by the millions, man. A lot of treaties were broken because they thought they could trust this devil, which is the wrong thing to ever do. The scriptures say to never trust thine enemy, man. All right? This man is a straight-up thief. And this is who you're celebrating with. This man is triumphing, man. He, he He's celebrating his victory over the tribe of Gad. But like the prophecies say, a troop shall overcome Gad, but he shall uh, overcome at the last, man. Let me find that real quick. Genesis, the 49th chapter. Uh, around the... Uh, Uh, go down. Verse 19, it says, Gad, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. All right. So these devils, they took down Gad, you know, they slaughtered him and, and uh, pushed him into the lowest uh, parts of the country, of their own country. All right. Now they on reservations. You know, they barely got any uh, clean running water. The last source of water uh, that the ones over there in the Dakotas had, they got ruined by that pipeline. And Esau was sending all type of uh, military men over there to uh, to constrain them from protesting. You know, shooting all type of chemicals on them, blasting them with water in the cold. All right. Esau, I mean, to this very day, it's not even being reported that, you know, these uh Gadites are being killed and raped by by Esau, man. You know the police blowing them away. They don't they don't never report that. And that's why you so-called Native Americans, y'all need to get on board, man. Wake the hell up. All right, you can grieve for for so long of what he did to you, but you need to wake up to the knowledge of the truth that you're the Lord's chosen people. It's a reason why the Lord allowed this devil to, uh, to to do what he did to you. It was prophesied that that was going to happen to you as a people. All right, your revenge, your only revenge is for you to come back to the Heavenly Father. That way, when he actually grants us with that power, you're going to get all the revenge that you, that you want on this damn devil. All right? You're going to do unto him double. You're going to repay to him double what he did to you. All right. But you need to wake the hell up first, man. And the Lord is going to actually destroy this place because it was built on blood. OK. That's why it says here, Habakkuk 2 and 12, it says, Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood and establisheth a city by iniquity. And that's how America was established by iniquity, man. Rape, rob, and murder. And here we are, you know, the, the 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 slave master got all his slaves celebrating with him of his victory. You know, he's getting, you know, he's about to toss some shots, but he's about to get drunk, watch the game, say, you know, a bunch of jokes, you know, with their family. They about to pray around the table with that turkey in the middle, knowing damn well that turkey is symbolic of a dead, uh, what they would call an uh, Indian, a savage, you know. And they're going to dig into it. You know? And the reason why they get they make this holiday national to where it's a, a 
a four day weekend is because when the, when these devils had that feast, they would eat. They was eating so glutton, uh, uh, gluttonous that by the next day, you know, they would be very tired because they overate. And they would tell the slaves also to, hey, chill, you know, y'all, y'all get a, a free day, a free day of rest after eating all that damn food, pigging out. So that's why you have a double. Uh, it's a double day, uh, a feast. All right, look, go into the history on that, man. This is uh, Micah chapter two, verse. Two, it says, and they covered fields and take them by violence. And that's how uh, uh, Babylon was established. All right. Esau, he was covered in after the new world over there in Europe. And he came over here, the settlers, these con conquistadors, they came over here with, with, you know, with weapons and all that. They came over here and scoped the, 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 the country out because they were looking for what? That gold. They was looking for... uh. You know that uh, precious minerals, riches, and they saw that you uh, tribes you you were sitting on them, so they want to get you up out of the way so they can get it and get the land. And that's what this devil do. The thief coming not before they steal, kill, and destroy. And we're celebrating this that same thief. Well, not me, <laughs> but you you wicked Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. I want to get together and stuff your damn face and not even think about what you're getting yourselves into. You don't even want to look this information up. The information been out there for so long now. I'm sure people have uh, uh, brought it to your attention or your awareness that this is a day that uh, uh, your oppressor uh, slaughtered uh, a, a lot of people. All right. And he celebrated it with a feast. And then you had uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln that declared it a, na a national holiday. All right. It says they covered fields and take them by violence. All right. Uh, bloodshed, murder. And houses and take them away so they oppress a man, meaning you rob a man and his house, even a man and his heritage, meaning his land. And that's exactly what was done. Okay. And that's why the, the, the northeastern part of the country is known as New England, because those English came over there and colonized. All right. And America is is uh was mothered by by the British Empire, man. Great Britain. Okay. And slaughtered the saints, man. This this land is filled with the blood of the saints. And you celebrating that bloodshed, man. You might as well dance in that blood. All right, we're not supposed to rejoice at the fall of the righteous, which even though our people, you know, the Native Americans, you know, they, they, they became wicked because they fell to idolatry, start doing heathenistic customs, you know, because they, they, they came over here, you know, uh, uh, centuries ago. And, you know, they came here to try to, you know, keep the laws of the Mosai here. But they fell away into uh, idolatry. and started acting like the damn heathens. So the Lord sent the white man over here to take them down and, and put them on punishment. So now, you know, uh, they're serving their enemies, you know, in, in a strange land. Because their original land was over there in the Middle East, Jerusalem, the, the land of Canaan. Okay. You know, and, um, you know, if, I'll try to post this video in the, in the description box, but, you know, this is a, uh, you know, a, grie a grieving uh, Gadite right here, speaking about the history of what happened to his people. You know, that's the spirit that you should really be in, man. It's the, in the spirit of, uh, of mourning. Not feasting and, and laughter and joy. That's 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 the job of the devil. He's supposed to be triumphing, man. That, that was his victory. That's how he got America, man. And that's why he ruled over your black ass, your spick ass, your tomahawk ass, man. You know? Let me get that real quick. Ecclesiastes 7. 
is Ecclesiastes 7 and uh, 12. It says, it is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. All right, and there's only a small number of people in this land that are mourning on this day than there is uh, people that are feasting. All right, there's way more people fe feasting, man. Everybody on some happy Thanksgiving. Motherfucker, don't, 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 man. Fuck uh, thanks taking, man. This is this this is not a. They didn't give up this land, man. Ain't nothing happy about a people coming to another side of the planet, and 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 uh, rape, robbing, and murdering, them and and stealing what what don't belong to them. All right, that's not that's nothing to be happy about. It says, for that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to to his heart. Okay, sorrow is better than laughter. For by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. Meaning if you're wise, you'll know this ain't the time to be uh, 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 mirthful, joyous. All right? You, you shouldn't feel good about so-called Thanksgiving, man. And every other pagan holiday that America has you celebrating, it all goes back to the worship of Satan. It's all wickedness. It's iniquity, man. That's why this place got to be destroyed. And it will be destroyed. All right? It says, the heart of the wise is in the, uh, the house of mourning, but the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. All right? And you in a celebra uh, celebratory mold, you a goddamn idiot, man, especially if you a Negro, Latino, and Native American. Especially if you a so-called Native American, man. You better know your history. All right? So, um, matter of fact, I'll leave off with this. Uh, Amos 5 and 21. The Lord, and this is the Lord uh, speaking. He says, I hate, I despise your feast days. And will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Yeah, your sacrifice is an abomination to the Lord. All right. I hope some of you uh, uh, choke choke off of uh, a fat ass piece of turkey or, or uh, ham. All right. Some of you people catch Caesars and shit or, or uh, from clogged arteries and shit, eating all that damn f uh, uh, food, man. Verse 22, though you offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. All right, so the Lord, ain't, if, you, if you praying over uh, uh, that turkey or that, that stuffing and that ham and macaroni and cheese and all that shit, your mashed potatoes, hey, the Lord is not hearing your prayers, man. Okay? He ain't accepting that. All right, that's that's a smoke that burneth in his in his nostrils. Okay, and he's gonna get you for it, man. We got our high holy days, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we have our high holy days. All right, they're in the they're in the scriptures, man. All right. Stop celebrating the damn devil's feast days and get back to celebrating the feast that the Heavenly Father gave you. All right? You know, so with that, you know, you know I was just my take, you know, I'm just venting, you know, so-called thanks taken, you know. You know, this, uh, you know, every year, you know, we we tend to, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll put up lessons concerning this particular day you know and if you you know you uh, for you brothers out there if you happen to be at a family member's house and you you know you grab some you know uh you you get a plate of food or whatever you know ain't no sin in it but just make sure you pray in the name of the lord man all right don't don't associate yourself with your family and, and their prayers over that damn food man you pray you cleanse that you cleanse that plate by by the name of uh yahweh shai man you give thanks to Yahweh Shemiah Shai for the food, 
not for this particular uh, fucking holiday, uh, so-called holiday, which is not a holy day. All right. This is one of the devil's days. All right. So, um, you know, ain't nothing wrong with eating the food, but don't be in a, ce a celebratory mode like the rest of these uh, uh, these demons out here, man. All right. First uh, Corinthians 10 and 21. It says. Uh, uh, no, that's not that's not it. Um, uh, yeah, First Corinthians ten and twenty seven. It says, "If any of them that believe believe not bid you to a feast, and you be disposed to go, whatsoever is said before you, eat, asking no question for conscience sake." All right, so you know, if if you if you uh, make you a plate or somebody make you a plate and they had you come over, all right, cool. You know, you eat, but that's that's it. You're not gonna be up in there to have things. None of that shit, man. You just gonna get you a plate, and you just gonna eat. You gonna praise the Most High in, his, in, in the name of His begotten Son. You gonna eat the food, and then hey, you, you bounce after that. You know you ain't gotta stick around and you know be all happy and, and uh, you know celebratory mode. You know what day this is. All right. Now let me get one more precept real quick. The Lord overall hates the feast, but if you eat of the feast, but you know the truth. You know, that's, you know, that's the, the Lord, you know, um, he's not going to get you for that. All right. This is uh, Romans chapter 14, verse uh, three. It says, let him that eat of despise, let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not, and let not him which eateth not judge him that eateth, for the most I have received him. All right. So, you know, if a brother does decide to eat today, that's, you know, he ain't going off, you know. And if you don't eat, you know, don't don't condemn him. All right. And vice versa, you know, if a brother feel like, you know, he, he he's just not in the, the mode to be eating that food, he rather fast or something like that on his day, then hey, he ain't going off either, man. That's That's very understandable. All right, so this, you know, and this was just to put everything in perspective. All right, because you know, some brothers, you know, they might, you know, go to you know, they, they mama house or or father house or cousin house or whatever, and they might be cooking, and you already know you you can explain to them, you know, why you don't really keep the feast, but you know, you'll eat. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. All right, so with that, you know, we give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushai. Until then, I say uh, Shalom to the Akiam, Shalom.